Need some worship. That was the that was first try, buddy. I'm, I'm so happy you got it. This is team rider Wes Anderson, and he's one of the best rail skiers on the entire planet. How old were you when you started skiing? I think I was I, three or so when I started skiing. You know, I had the backpack with the straps and everything. Parents just kind of weaved me around the hill. Oh man, I hope you were tossing five swaps in that thing. God, I hope so. <laughs> I can't remember, but I hope so. Well, he started skiing before he could even form a sentence. It wasn't until about 13 years old when he really got into the sport and shifted over to freestyle. He would go on to compete with his local team in Minnesota and ended up placing pretty well, but found hidden rails and stacking clips with the boys back home was too fun to pass up, so he took it on full time. I'm doing fraud, I got that bag, I'm transporting, I got that bag. Eventually, Gilson started to take notice of what Wes was throwing down and reached out to back him up with some skis. Wes joined the team back in 2020 and has been on a tear ever since. His air awareness is top notch and he's able to throw some bigger rotations on a bunch of different axes. West is best known for the absolute madness he pulls out on jibs. I mean, he isn't chucking triple 1170s out of 40 odd foot whale tails, but West has landed some of the wildest combos on some of the gnarliest challenge features to ever be created in modern terrain parks, including this one. on a set of turbos longer than the United States Constitution. Front swap, front swap, back 360 swap, back swap, pretzel 270 out, it makes it look easy. Ski jargon aside, just sliding this thing is incredibly difficult. So to be able to throw a million different swaps on it consecutively with 100% execution defies everything I thought was possible. This clip is insane. Oh were you planning for this or did it just sort of happen? So I had planned for the front swap, front swap, back three swap. And I was like, oh my God, I've still got like 50 feet of rail left. <laughs> like might as well do something and just did the Ray Charles. How does this even happen? I don't, I, I don't know, man. I just got lucky. I don't know. It was perfect. It's one of those days, bluebird out, must have been that. Now, like you were saying, that final back swap Preds 2 wasn't planned, but altogether, how many attempts did this take to land? Yeah, I think I started off trying to do a back two and for some reason that took me... I think like 10 tries, yeah. but it, it took me a long time. I mean, I think it took me four tries to get that clip on the rail, the, the one that you're talking about. Four tries. That's a long time to you. Yeah. Now you've managed to not only slide, but swap up some of the biggest uh, rails ever created in terrain park history. Is there still a rail on your bucket list, whether that's inside or outside the park? We've been trying to hit this urban rail for, I think three years. Me and a crew of some of the Afton friends. I think it's 170 feet, give or take. It's a C to down rail. We've been trying to hit it. Wow. Haven't gotten it, gotten close. I think I had maybe 30, 40 feet left of the rail. So I go to bed pretty much every night and I dream about that rail. <laughs> Streets are a grind. I didn't, you know, I didn't realize that when we got into it, but it's it's tough. It's a whole different ball game. Do you know of anybody who's actually made it to the end yet? I think as far as we know, it's a NBD rail. So that's kind of the goal for that one. Sick. Now, obviously, when it comes to rails and jibs, you've, you've got that completely locked down. But what, what's your story when it comes to jumps? So my first invert was a backflip, naturally. That's how it goes. I was a camper at Woodward Copper for like the summer camp. And they had one of those airbags, but it's not a it's not a sloped airbag, you know? It's a flat one they lay out and it's kind of... It doesn't feel great when you land on your head on that thing. It kind of hurts a little bit. So that was where I learned to backflip, but then everything else is pretty much just trying it on snow. <laughs> oh, you're nuts. You've done a lot of big single off axis rotations. Uh, I've seen you throw nines, tens, twelves. Uh, what's your thoughts on dubs? You know, I've tried a dub once. Wasn't great, but I didn't get super hurt. So maybe I'll try it again. I haven't really learned my lesson on that one. Uh, dub 10? Yeah, I was trying dub 10, but I kind of messed it up and almost did like a 14-ish, 12-ish set. And so I just kind of landed on my side and face and it was, I mean, I was fine. It was slushy out, you know? Bro, you just did a double. West. I mean, I'm, sh I, I don't know. Dubs are scary. I'm Props to people who do them, but they're scary. Now, I got the privilege of linking up with Wes this year at Gilson's annual summer snow day. Similar to what his Instagram has been showcasing, he not only slid the entire challenge rail set up there, but went on to get a back two off of it. You're kidding! First try! Also managed to pull off an elusive on it once all the cameras were shut off. Again, if none of the ski jargon is making sense, don't stress. Just understand this guy is good at skiing. A lot of people ski for different reasons, but when it comes to your own journey with skiing, what makes you want to get up and ski every day? I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. I don't know. It's fun. 
I think it's fun at the end of the day when you're kind of all your friends, you guys kind of like go to a homie's house or something and you're all watching your clips. I think that's just the most, that's like the most fun thing ever. Now dialing in on your progression, I mean, it's been abnormally quick. You've only been skiing seriously for six odd years. Uh, well, what's been the key for you? I'd say the big thing is rope toes. Rope toes have been probably, you know, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Yeah, smart. Plus you get the wicked forearm pump, hey? You get some good forearms, yeah, you do. So you're 20 years old, you've already accomplished a lot within the sport. Uh, what's next for you and your skis? Get better for myself, get better clips, remain intact, you know? I think that's kind of the, that's it. That's the holy trinity. Massive thanks to Wes for hopping on and having a chat. Dude, he's such an incredible guy on and off the skis. If you want to keep up to date with his skiing into the upcoming season here, I'll leave a link down to his Instagram profile in the description below. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.